All right, how's everybody doing today? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, Tesla finally um, actually gave us the delivery numbers for Q1 of 2021. And I'm gonna be talking about it, going through it, and basically telling you my thoughts. Is this a stock of buy now? What's gonna happen next trading day? Like, could Tesla just shoot up after this news? But let's just jump straight into it. Uh, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel. I'm trying to hit 1,000 subscribers by summer or as soon as possible so I can get this channel monetized. So if you guys can help me out and just drop a sub, that'll be really appreciated. Let's just jump into it now the total number of deliveries right was about 180,000. now this shocked me right here they didn't make a single model x or model s in all of january february and march that is nuts man so basically if you don't know they're going to refresh the model s and the model x which basically means they didn't make a single one. This these deliveries are probably like a thousand for the X, thousand for the S, and they were probably in the month of January, and they were such a small amount of it. And the Model Three, Model Y was basically all of their production, which is kind of crazy. They sold more call more cars than they made, which is a very good sign. So it was literally every single car they made flew out of the shelf and more which is kind of nuts so that's a very good sign so basically what everyone thought was going to happen they delivered roughly 185,000 vehicles right that is nuts now the crazy thing is is that everyone was projecting around 140k and then uh, some very bullish people were doing 188k but the consensus was they're going to do about 160k even 170k max they blew it out of the water man they basically did exactly what no one thought was gonna happen remember they barely made any model s's and model x's and they didn't have any and i mean they didn't have any um brand new model s's and x's to sell and with only two models doing these numbers that is kind of nuts so that's a really really good sign obviously for tesla we don't even know um this is only their obviously their cars you don't know how they're doing in the electric business and stuff like that but that is really good i like how tesla does this so people know what to expect for their q1 earnings and yeah that's really good right um so all electric vehicles produced in model 3 model y during the quarter they didn't make any s's and x's which is nuts and then model s's and model x's were one percent of total deliveries so um elon musk was right that they basically do not need the model s and model x they could literally discontinue that but um they still have it just for the sake of it right um and i do think with the refresh it's going to bring even more production now what are their numbers in the future um musk did write new equipment was installed in q1 for the s and x so they're going to continue wrapping those up in the future and that's kind of crazy because if they can do 180 without the Model S and X, I think they could potentially get to 10,000 with the new one um, with the next quarter and the next two quarters. Um, so I think they can do 5K each easily. And that'll just make it an extra 30K cars for the rest of the year, maybe 40, 50K cars. I mean, I don't... Um, but yeah, that's kind of expected that Model S, what I think is going to happen, right? So when they finally release the Model S and Model X, I think it's going to explode. Like I think on YouTube, especially, there's going to be so many people talking about how fast the plate is, um, especially the plate plus, which is supposed to come later this year. But there's going to be so many people talking about it and racing that car because it's literally one of the, I think it is the fastest street legal car or that might be the plate plus coming at the end of the year but nonetheless it's a fast freaking car and i think it's going to blow any other car out of the water and i think people are going to race with bugattis and stuff like that and they're going to truly see how crazy it is and i think that's going to drive a lot of demand not necessarily to the s and x because of the price points but also the three and y so i think that's going to be a really good thing um that's what we kind of saw before when they released the model 3 performance it was getting millions upon tens of millions of views on youtube and that obviously drives a lot of sales for tesla obviously it's like literally um like a toyota would pay millions of dollars to get that kind of publicity if, if um yeah so that's kind of nuts there so what could they possibly do i think i genuinely believe they could do a million cars at the end of this year right they did half a million last year I believe they could do a million this year. That's not too far-fetched to say at all. Um, if they do 180K, 185K, and then you can do... Um, I think they could do pretty easily with the SNX, let's say doing 10K, 20K. That's going to drive it up to 220K or 210. And then they're going to do even more 3 and Ys. 
So I think they could easily do 230 to 50 in Q2. So let's say they do 235, right? And then in Q3 and Q4, they do 250 or 275, I think is kind of um, what I think they can do. And then in Q4, I think they could potentially do 300K cars. And if that's the case with the um, SNX, they're gonna be close to a million cars. And remember, China's gonna ramp up a lot more. And they might sprinkle in a few Cybertruck deliveries as well. That's probably gonna be such a minuscule number though. But I think they could go anywhere from 900K to a million cars easy at the end of this year. 235 with the SNX should be easy, piece of cake. That's a very conservative number. And then 275 is where they're going a little more. And in 300 to finish off, finish off the year. I think that's very, very likely. Even a 290, 280 is very conservative. And then that's even gonna bring it even there to basically a million cars very on track let's say they do 200 for the rest of the year which is incredibly conservative um, they still have 800k cars which is their goal they're gonna smash that out of the water so 185k to start off the year with the chip shortage man that is just nuts so it's a very good sign now is tesla stock a buy now obviously dude um the last obviously the trading day is closed on friday but it's a three-day weekend for the markets um Monday or Friday, or, um, what am I saying? Thursday, Tesla basically almost touched 700 and then towards the day, weekend and weekend and weekend, and now it's at 660, which if you're a buyer of the stock, is very interesting. Um, a month ago, I talked about it when it was almost at, or not a month ago, just a few, just this last week, it was at under $600 a share. When it was under 600 billion market cap as well, that's very intriguing in my opinion. I didn't buy shares this time, especially since Tesla is like half my portfolio. But um, just looking at the revenues and what well, even the Ford PE right now at um, 163, even if they can beat, if they do a million cars, they can easily do a hundred percent revenue. I think a hundred percent growth, if not 75 percent growth. This will be blown out of the water, man. Um, so their high estimates at 56 billion, and then their low or their average estimates at 58. I think it's gonna be higher at 56 billion. Uh, and if that's the case, it's gonna be like 70% growth. I think they might even beat that. Like that's gonna be insane. I mean, just logically, if they did 500K last year, and then they did 100K this year, or a million, a million this year, I mean, if they're gonna do a million this year, that's gonna be crazy. And I think that's very likely. And I think 30% 30, 30 for next year might be kind of conservative as well. Because remember, the Cybertruck's gonna be out. And I think that's gonna be nuts as well. So yeah, I think right now, if you are not in Tesla stock, definitely look into it. I think it might be a good buy right now. I think it maybe is a buy. Um, if you're not in Tesla stock right now, if you've been in the stock for a few years now, like I have, I mean, it's kind of hard to buy in right now. But if it goes under 600 for the month of April, definitely look into it. I think I put Tesla on my stocks to buy list. So definitely check out those videos if you haven't already. Make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys on the next one.